And as we see Papa Briscoe here and Mark Briscoe here, between them, we see these four dingbats and an, the actual Briscoe baby frolicking. And the giant's holding the baby up like this. And Sanjay, I, I, I guess you could call it dancing, but that seems unfair. That's underselling what he was doing. I don't even know what Lethal and Jarrett were up to, but these dingbats just kicking back having the time of their lives as the Briscoes discuss the state of affairs. And Papa says, big man, big man says, Mark, I know you've known Jay a long time, but I need you to keep your eye on the rest of these clowns, especially the idiot in the overalls. And Mark looks out at the crew and asks, which one? Both of them, Papa Briscoe says. So the crew is winding up. They're heading back home to, I guess, Jarrett's farm, wherever they, wherever they live. But they announce, Mark, we got you a singles match on Rampage. We know you're going to be victorious there, just like Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett got singles wins over FTR. Speaking of which, we are formally challenging FTR for a tag team title match in Double or Nothing. Now, Mark, you, of course, know the Briscoes. You've beaten the Briscoes, that's right. Mark says, yes, yes, we did. Well, we need you to tell us how it's done. And Mark is taking it back. Because these guys did spend a day working at his farm. They showed up and worked as best they could. But FTR is his friend, so he seems a little conflicted. This was gold! Do you hear me? You know... Gold! When they when they had FTR come back and, you know, the, the ass boys were the champions... And you know, I kept asking, why the ass boys? I got nothing against them, but why? Why, 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 why wouldn't FTR come back and have that match with the acclaimed? Because you know, the acclaimed also, you know, people go, oh well, you know, the ass boys had beat them. Well, so did the acclaimed, and the acclaimed it would have been a better match, and you know, just everything about it would have been bigger if it was FTR versus the acclaimed. And then people were like, well, you know, maybe FTR didn't want to. Uh, uh, risk, you know, doing a match with another babyface team. Better to do it against heels. And, of course, my argument was uh, fucking all last year, all of the, the big matches were babyface versus babyface. Yes. There were so many babyface versus babyface matches. Didn't make a shit's worth of difference. So, no. And, you know, let's just say, for the sake of argument, that was the idea. Well, FTR is going to face a heel team as opposed to another babyface team. Make sure that the uh, the other team gets booed, whatever. Let me tell you something. FTR versus this crew, this crew's going to get itself turned babyface here pretty soon. <laughs> That's not impossible. I said this a while ago with these these uh, uh, these miscreants. The uh, what the hell was the name in in WWE? The the uh, with insane clown posse. The oddities. The oddities. Yeah. You know they. You guys maybe even odder. Yeah, it's just such an odd <laughs> group of of just you got you got the old. Alleged country singer. You've got Sanjay Dutt and his pencil. Well, I don't even know what his gimmick is. He's just a manager. You got a giant, and you got a great, great, great wrestler. And they're That's just what you have. and like it's a heel crew. It's a great heel crew. But the more you watch them together, the more they're such a likable crew. You want to get behind these men. You do. You want to see them win the tag team titles. God, maybe they will. I'm actually, for the first time, for the first time, I'm actually thinking they might. Dude, they had that match in Seattle where they did that dusty finish. They did, yes. And yeah. Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal allegedly had won the tag team titles before they did Aubrey coming down to restart it. Yeah. And fuck, that that place went crazy when they won those tag team titles. That was more outrage, I think, than... Well, I mean, they still, it was a huge reaction. They did react. They were into that thing. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I think long-term, these guys got to be baby faces. They're such a, they're such a great baby face crew. Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why does he do that? you me to explain Uncle Howdy? Yes. Someone needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. Boo. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. <laughs> <laughs>
What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.